Are you tired of your dog's incessant barking? Ever wondered why your four-legged friend can't seem to keep quiet? Well, let's dive into the mystery of canine communication. You see, dogs bark for a myriad of reasons. It could be a simple greeting, like a, hello, I missed you, to their favorite human. Or it could be a protective instinct, a way to say, hey, this is my territory, when they sense a potential intruder. Sometimes it's just sheer excitement, a joyous, woohoo, it's playtime, bark. It could be an attention-seeking attempt, a plaintive, hey, look at me, or a warning bark, a stern, something's not right here. They might also bark when they're hungry, or if they feel confined and need more space. But it's not always about immediate needs or feelings. Sometimes, barking could indicate underlying psychological issues or even medical conditions. Yes, that's right. Just like us, dogs too can have their share of mental health concerns or physical ailments that lead to excessive barking. So understanding why your dog barks is the first step to addressing the issue effectively. Now that you understand why your dog barks, let's talk about how you can manage it. Ever heard of positive reinforcement? Positive reinforcement is a technique where you reward the behaviors you want to encourage. In this case, silence. It's akin to giving a gold star to a child for good behavior. The more gold stars, the more likely the child will repeat the good behavior. The same principle applies to your furry friend. Here's how it works. Let's say your dog begins to bark. Instead of yelling or getting upset, which can actually increase their stress levels and exacerbate the problem, patiently wait for a moment of silence. Once they stop barking, even if it's just for a brief moment, reward them with a treat or a loving pat. This method is all about timing and consistency. The quicker you reward the quiet behavior, the more likely your dog will associate silence with something positive. And the more consistent you are with your rewards, the more effective this technique will be. Remember, the goal is not to suppress their natural instinct to bark, but to teach them when it's appropriate and when it's not. And most importantly, never resort to punishment. It can lead to aggression and stress, which are counterproductive to your goal. Remember, rewarding quiet behavior is a far more effective approach than punishing noise. Ready to start training your dog? Here's how you can use positive reinforcement to your advantage. First, let's dive into the heart of positive reinforcement. Picture this. Your dog barks and you respond with a soft, calming cue, say, quiet. When your dog stops barking, you reward them with a treat or their favorite toy. It's a simple yet powerful technique that leverages the principle of rewarding good behavior. Now, the key here is consistency. You need to ensure that every time your dog stops barking in response to your cue, they receive a reward. This consistency helps your dog associate the cue with the reward, thereby reinforcing the desired behavior. But remember, timing is equally important. The reward must be given immediately after your dog stops barking, not a few minutes later. This immediate gratification helps your dog understand what behavior is being rewarded. Now let's talk about the calm verbal cue. It's essential to use a soft and calming tone. A loud or harsh tone can startle your dog and lead to more barking. The cue should be a word that's easy for your dog to understand and one that you can say calmly like quiet or hush. The beauty of this technique is that it can be tailored to your dog's needs. For instance, if your dog responds better to physical affection than treats, use petting as a reward. The goal is to make your dog feel good about obeying the cue, so choose a reward that your dog loves. There's one more thing to remember. While training, it's important to maintain a calm and patient demeanor. Training takes time and progress may be slow, but don't worry, your patience will pay off. And finally, remember that positive reinforcement is not just about rewarding the absence of barking. It's about encouraging overall good behavior. So reward your dog when they're just being quiet, even without the cue. This will help them understand that being quiet is a desirable behavior. With patience and consistency, these techniques can significantly reduce your dog's barking. Besides training, there are additional measures you can take to prevent excessive barking. Ensure your pet isn't hungry or confined for long periods. Regular meals and plenty of exercise can go a long way in maintaining a calm and content canine. Remember, a dog's bark is their language. It's how they communicate. Understanding why your dog barks is the first step towards addressing the issue. Is it excitement? a warning, or perhaps they're seeking your attention. Identifying these triggers can help you better manage their barking. Next, 
never underestimate the power of positive reinforcement. Rewarding your pooch for quiet behavior can reinforce their understanding that silence can also earn them treats and praise. It's a gentle, effective method to train them to curb their barking. Lastly, preventive measures are equally important. A well-fed, well-exercised dog is a happy dog, less likely to bark excessively. With these tips, you're well on your way to enjoying a quieter, happier home with your furry friend.